my dear students let us solve the problem of measurements in a different style where you will not get this style in the total internet okay so let us see this is a previous year question asked in NEET 2017 NCRT page number 33 the concept is available here so how can you solve this problem where is asking us to find out the dimensions of length in terms of velocity of light gravitation constant and e square by 4 pi epsilon naught you all know electrostatic force can be taken as q1 q2 by 4 pi q1 q2 by 4 pi epsilon naught into r square so q1 i am taking it as q1 and q2 i am taking it as e so q1 q2 means i can take e square by 4 pi epsilon naught into r square and you know gravitation constant means g m1 m2 m1 m2 i can take it as m square by r square so r square r square gets cancelled now you know velocity of light where in terms of gravitation you know velocity can be considered as square root of gm by r so escape velocity formula is square root of gm by r you can take so here squaring on both sides c square is equal to gm by r this implies that m is equal to c square r by g m is equal to c square r so here instead of m here m square is available you can square that values so what is left now e square by 4 pi epsilon naught is equal to g m square means c power 4 r square by g square so g g square gets cancelled here okay so g square gets cancelled so you can write r square is equal to this g cross multiplication e square by 4 pi epsilon naught and c power 4 divided by c power 4 okay this square goes it becomes a square root that side so that's right then here this is a 1 by c square is left remaining are in root only g e square by 4 pi epsilon naught in brackets square will become power of 1 by 2 so what is the correct option i think d is going to be the correct option hope you have enjoyed this problem my dear students let us solve this problem in a different style where you will not get this method in the total internet that is my challenge here now you just see this is a previous year question asking 2016 neat okay and the page number 33 in ncrt book now he is asking us to find out the dimensions of length in terms of Planck's constant h velocity of light c and gravitational constant g and you can see general methods given in the books can just see the general method given in the books let us solve this problem in a different style now okay you also know that you know that energy e is equal to mc square you know energy e is nothing but h nu according to this is according to Planck. this is according to einstein you know about this isn't it so i can write this as nu as c by lambda okay nu can be written as c by lambda which is nothing but mc square c c square gets cancelled so h by lambda you know dimensions of lambda is wavelength which can be taken as l here so i am writing this as mc you all know velocity is considered according to gravitation gm by r velocity orbital velocity can be taken as v is equal to root of gm by r you know about this root of gm by r so c r v is equal to root of because c is nothing but velocity of light i can square on both sides which are going to get cm by gm by r r i can take it as l here so radius is nothing but length according to dimensional formula so gm by l i am taking so what i am going to do now here you can just see i can take this m as c square l by g instead of m i am writing c square l by g so that is h by l is nothing but m m is nothing but c square l by g already one more c is present here so what is there now h is equal to c square L comes here, it becomes L square. This C is already present here. C square into C, I can write this as a C cube divided by G here, isn't it? So from this, I am getting L square is equal to H G by C cube. So therefore, L is equal to root of H G, okay, or G H, what it may be. H G divided by C power of 3 by 2. Because this square goes to that side, becomes C power of 3 by 2. Third option is correct. Here square root is only in the numerator, in the denominator there is no square root. So C option is correct, HG by C power of 3 by 2 is going to be your correct answer. Hope you have enjoyed this different style of solving the problem. Thank you.